Hello, my name's Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. Today, we're talking about Waken by Bond Lee and MS Magic. If you're not familiar, MS Magic is short for Magicalism Store, which all of the details will be in the description below this video, www.magicalismstore.com. Also, before we get into the review, I am going to be giving away a copy of Waken near the end of this video. So stay tuned, watch the review the whole way through, and you could be in with a chance to win your very own copy of Waken. Now, let's get on with the review. The TLDR is that if you like what you see, this is probably one of, if not the best and mo most reliable ways to perform either a rising card or a sorry, self-contained rising card or animated haunted deck. Uh, so there are a few different versions of performing this, but the TLDR is that it's roughly a hundred pounds. So if you have a hundred pounds spare and you want to do a self-contained rising card or haunted deck, this is a very, very good way of doing it. That's the TLDR. Let's get into a little bit more detail. What is it? Well, Waken, like I said, is a self-contained uh, animated deck, uh, haunted deck, rising card. It's uh, essentially a gimmicked deck that allows you to do all of those different things, but it's not just those things. There are variations within them. So if you wanted a spectator to hold a deck of cards uh, inside the box and then you wanted a card to rise out, you can. You can also control you have complete control over how the card rises. You can have it rise a little bit and then a little bit more and then halfway and then all of the way. Complete control over this. You can stop, start it, uh, which is um, very uncommon with these kinds of magic tricks. And usually they're very unreliable and they use all kinds of um, principles that could break or snap on you. This one uh, kind of does, kind of doesn't. Uh, I won't go into how it works, but it's, it's one of the uh, better made and more reliable ways of performing a, a self-contained haunted deck. You can also find multiple cards. So you can have two cards rise out of the deck. You can also have multiple cards in the, in the haunted deck. So you can have four cards coming out um, from each side of the deck of cards. And again, it's under your complete control if you want to have some kind of patter and have one card come out and then the, and then the deck stops and then you tell another story and then another card comes out then another one and another one for all of the four cards and it's a 10 minute routine you can do that you have complete control which is fantastic uh, so that's what waken is let's get on to the next part which is what do you get with it what do you get with waken well, without giving too much away, uh, you receive a small card that has a QR code on the back that takes you to the instructions. The instructions are very thorough. Bond takes you through everything that you could need to know with Waken. Uh, you receive a few extra cards to get you started with practicing right out of the box. And with that in mind, uh, I would suggest definitely watch the tutorial before you start playing with this because you could break it otherwise. You also receive a deck with a gimmicked deck inside, and that's where the secret lies. You receive a very small remote control and a charging cable for that remote control. The charging cable is USB to micro USB. And that is everything that you receive with Waken. Let's talk a little bit about how easy Waken is to perform. And it's really easy, super easy, in fact, uh, this is the extent of what you have to do to perform Waken, and this can be in your pocket, it can be in your shoe, it can be anywhere you want, uh, it can be someone else off stage. The range for this is is quite far. You could even do, you could perform this from another room. So yes, that is how easy it is to perform. Uh, there is a little bit of management with people selecting the card. Um, you can't just spread the cards, have a card taken, signed, and then put back. It's not quite that clean. Uh, you probably will have to uh, switch decks, perhaps. In some scenarios, you will definitely have to. And in other scenarios, you could potentially get away with it. Uh, and then there are other scenarios 
where you may not have to switch decks at all. So it depends entirely on how you're going to perform this. But to animate the deck is very easy to do. And the reset time is not bad as well, but you're probably only going to perform this at one group. So at a wedding, for example, you might perform this just for the head table, for the bride and groom and, and the parents of, of those, or at a corporate event, the table that has the boss on it. So you'll save this. This is, this is not something that you're going to perform to multiple groups of people consecutively because the reset time is anywhere from 30 seconds to about a minute or a minute and a half. It's not an easy reset. And that's not to say that it's a difficult reset. It's just there's a few things that you have to do and you're not going to be able to do them on the fly between groups of people. Uh, so yes, the reset time is between, between 30 seconds and 90 seconds, I would say, but it's something that you do really have to do out of sight of people. And that uh, I think pretty much covers the reset time. The angles are fantastic, 360 degrees, I think for every different kind of performance, uh, so whether you're doing, whether you are holding the deck, whether the deck is in a glass, whether a spectator is holding the deck, whether a deck is being animated on a book or, or, or a table or something, it can be performed completely surrounded. And uh, like I said earlier in this review, you could even be out of the room and you could leave uh, the deck um, in, a, in a glass covered with another big glass and you could be out of the room and it could happen. So yes, angles couldn't be any better. Pocket space, well, it's just a deck of cards. It is a fully gimmicked deck of cards that you cannot use for anything else, but that's all the space that this takes up. Um, so quite small, packs small, plays big. Uh, like I said earlier in the review, you can perform this close up if you want to. There is a, uh, a couple of points that I will touch on later on in my final thoughts, but uh, yes, it, it Pack small, plays big, it's just a deck of cards. And that I think will lead us on to the final thoughts and the giveaway. So my, my final thoughts are uh, mixed with a few different things. I want to tell you that you can customize this to any deck of cards. You do not have to use, a you, you receive a red deck of bicycle cards with Waken, but you do not have to use a red deck of bicycle cards. You can use any cards you like and uh, Bond does take you over how to customize the pack of cards, but it's quite easy. So you don't have to use the bicycle box either. You can, you, you can completely customize this for any deck of poker sized playing cards. I think that's my first point. Uh, second point is there is, a, there is a tiny bit of noise. So you, you wouldn't want to maybe perform this in a completely silent scenario. It is very quiet, the noise, and it, it would go unnoticed, I think, most of the time if people are a few feet away from you in a, in a sat down performance like this with an audience. Um, I don't think they would hear it. Bond does take you over uh, a couple of tips as well and pointers on how to dampen the sound, uh, which I don't think is necessary because, like I say, the sound, the, the sound from the gimmick is very quiet, but it's nice that he touches on that and does address that in the tutorial video. I think that's everything on my final thoughts. My final thoughts generally are that it's very good. I'm definitely going to be using this, whether it's at a corporate event or a wedding or a show, um, I will 100% be using this. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really well made. It is a professional product in my opinion. Uh, it's fairly expensive at a hundred pounds. But like I said, it's one of the best ways to perform a self-contained haunted deck or animated deck or rising card. And there's some things that you can do with this that are a lot more difficult to do with other versions of rising card or, or um, animated decks. So yes, they're my final thoughts. Oh, uh, one more final thought as well. Uh, I have two copies of Waken and I've, I had a slight issue with both of them when they arrived. So I recommend, it's a, very, it's a very easy, quick issue that you can fix, but I did have the issue with both, uh, both items, and you will need to buy a, a small roll of um, very sticky uh, foam tape. So you can buy foam tape from any DIY store, any hobby craft store, uh, you can buy it from Amazon, it's very cheap, it's maybe a couple of pounds for, for a small roll, 
but I would suggest that you buy that if you're going to buy Waken because at some point in the future you're probably going to need it anyway and you can use it for other magic props and things as well but uh, yes that would be my my final suggestion in the final thoughts to buy a roll of double-sided foam tape and yes we'll move on to the uh, giveaway of Waken so the way this giveaway is going to work is it's anywhere in the world. Uh, I cannot give away Waken for free, unfortunately, but I can give it away almost for free. So in the video description, there is a link to donate through PayPal. And you can donate anything from one pound, two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, however much you want to donate, you can donate that amount of money. And I will pick one of the email addresses, one of the names from those donations in a week's time. At the beginning of June, I will pick a name from all of the donations. The donations will go towards paying for the postage of Waken to the winner and also to continue buying more tricks to review for you. So uh, I don't necessarily benefit from any of the donations. They actually are to grow this channel and to continue providing quality reviews for you to help you save money. So that's how the giveaway is going to happen. If you are under 18, please do ask for parental consent when you are donating money because it will be an adult's account that you use to make a donation. That's everything I think for this review of Waken. I hope that you found it useful. Um, I hope that it helped you decide on whether to purchase it or not. And good luck with the giveaway. That's it for this review. That was Waken by Bondly and MS Magic. I'll see you in the next one.